Hi, I'm Christine from The Locker Planner and welcome my friend to another great video. Today we'll make Friday night pizza. Yes, today is Friday night and we wanted to have a delicious pizza because the weekend just has started. And today you get three delicious recipes. Number one is the almond crust pizza. Number two is the cauliflower delicious pizza. And number three is the flaxseed pizza. I will put all the net carbs in the description box below. And of course the ingredients that you can make those recipes too. At the moment I'm going on a vegan keto diet. So if you're not vegan but still keto, you can fully create those recipes. Just change the toppings and you're good to go. So let's hop right in. So small introduction. On the right side we got the flaxseed ground flaxseed to this. I'll just add here psyllium husk and some baking powder. On the other side we have the almond flour, ground almond flour. To this my egg substitute is just flaxseed and some baking soda. That's simply it. Let's get going. So first step first, we're gonna mix everything very well. I use here a spoon and you know, um, sometimes I do not serve everything very well. That's why I have on some spot, spot some baking soda, which just tastes very salty on some ends. That's why we need to be here very careful. And here comes my super secret ingredient. I add here hot water. I use here my water cooker and just I go here, I eyeball it and add just one at a time some water to it. It's like three to five tablespoons or more. Um, but you can feel it if it if this dough gets is still too dry and the and the dough falls apart, then you need to add more water. If it's too wet, it feels like that you cannot form it into a ball. So this means you need to add more flax seeds. And most of the time I don't have enough flax seeds, that's why I just eyeball it and go here just one at a time and try to mix it here very well. But you can see this dough gets like a dough and then I just make here my form test. I use here my <laughs> weird glove, you know, I don't like touching dough or raw meat by hand. If I don't have gloves I touch it. Um, but I don't feel that well <laughs> and I'm kind of weird but all the doughs which is also important get always a good drip of good olive oil and then we're gonna fold it like into a dough if it's like like I said too dry you need to add a little bit more water that you feel that it's like a typical pizza dough it's not like uh, how should I say it spreadable or firmable but you know what I mean you know when you're going keto you have to look for alternatives which are healthier and lower in carbs and this today I give you three delicious great options and then we're gonna top this dough onto a parchment paper and then we're gonna shape it out first uh, first I just flatten it out with my hand and next I will be I'll just use here my rolling pin and roll it out and I just try it to be very evenly. I just say only I try. I know there are some other YouTubers who just create their pizza so perfectly. They just take a plate, put it on top and just cut out the edges. But we don't have first no time for this. And I'm very impatient and I don't have, I don't want to waste food, you know. What, what should I do with the rest? So that's why we create a homemade, beautiful, special pizza. So, one important thing is if you just press too hard with a rolling pin, the dough will stick onto your rolling pin. That's why you should only lightly press out the dough.
Okay, next step is the almond flour mixture. Same step here, we're gonna mix everything very well. I use here again a spoon, you can go also by hand if you want to, or by fork, or whatever you have. And then we're gonna mix it very well. The great thing here is that the flaxseed is the perfect egg combiner if you just add flaxseed and hot water, because they will react and start it's your glue you know it's it's holding your pizza dough together and here again i just eyeball it and then i just gonna mix it and i think i have to in my opinion almond flour is like co not like cocoa coconut flour but it's different to flax seeds you know you have to add a little bit more liquids because almonds and coconut are more kind of a, like a sponge you know they're my soakers and then we're gonna add, like I said, one good tablespoon of good olive oil. And here it comes again, my glove, for the form test. Yes, I think in this, I think this dough feels very good, so that's why we're gonna transfer it again to a parchment paper and roll it out again. I think this dough is kind of hard to roll it out with a rolling pin. You can use another parchment paper, but you know, I don't want to waste another parchment paper. That's why I just go here by hand and try to flatten it out as good as possible. Just takes a little bit more time, um, but we don't waste so much parchment paper, you know? I know parchment paper is not super expensive, but we should not waste so much. Dough number three is very special. So this is a cauliflower broccoli mixture. I've just pre-cooked it for around about five to eight minutes in hot water, just that simply it. And then after that, I've just pressed it out in a kitchen towel, not in a paper towel, <laughs> um, that you get rid of those juices because otherwise your dough will get really soggy. And we don't want this. So this step is really, really important. And next up will be, we add to the cauliflower mixture, flax seeds and psyllium husk. You don't have to add psyllium husk, but I think it's a, I need, I, no, I'm kind of afraid. I just want that the pizza holds. Um, it would also work with flax seeds, but psyllium husk and flax seeds are both vegan egg, uh, egg substitutes. So yeah, that's why the pizza holds very well and here again we add olive oil and we eyeball it again the hot water and a great thing here is that the almond flour mixture and the cauliflower mixture are both wetter doughs than the flax seeds and you can feel it if you just form it you know if you shape the dough you feel <laughs> there it comes my weird glove um, that it's more a wetter dough and then if you have the feeling yes this feels right it's not too dry and the ball the dough won't fall apart then the dough is really right and I think those recipes are very fast to make you know and you don't have to for a regular high carb dough a yeast dough you have to wait like 45 to 1 hour uh, until the yeast rises and this just takes only 10 to 15 minutes each pizza and this was Friday night I know this took a little longer and we had later dinner but it was absolutely worth it. I don't use here a rolling pin because this dough is kind of wet and I don't want to use another parchment paper that's why I just flatten it out by hand so this pizza is not that super big like the other ones because I'm afraid if I just make it too thin that it will fall apart that's why it's okay if it's a little bit thicker and a smaller pizza but it's super delicious okay and I'm gonna bake those beauties roundabout on 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes until the, uh, until the pizza dough is pre-baked
Now we're gonna top those beauties. First we start with the flaxseed pizza. We got here tomato passata, which is just regular tomato sauce, and then we're gonna spread it out. I think this flaxseed is a real soaker. It's like a sponge, you know, it soaks the good passata all of. And I love tomato sauce on the pizza, you know, that's why next time if I do this dough, which has the lowest carbs, by the way, you need to add more tomato passata because we love tomato passata in this household. And the almond flour pizza is not that kind of a sponge, but it also just, um, it's not like a sponge. Okay, now we're gonna top it. I use your Simply V, which sounds like a lady part. Um, it's vegan cheese. You can go, of course, if you're not vegan or on a vegan keto diet, you can go with regular cheese, which has, of course, zero carbs. But, and next up, I'll add here vegan chicken fillets, which is just made out of, I think, tofu. <laughs> <laughs> you can go with regular chicken if you want to, like chicken stripes. I, if you add raw chicken, I would recommend you to um, pr uh, bake it longer. And we just refine it with some lovely small sweet tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, I don't know, is it tomatoes or tomatoes? Okay, and here also like the flaxseed pizza, I use here the grated vegan cheese. And to this we're gonna add some more because I think it's... A little bit too dry. I add here cream cheese because I like cream cheese, which is vegan cream cheese, by the way. It's, I think, made out of cashews, um, which should give your pizza a creamier taste. And also the great thing here, cream cheese melts. You know, it spreads all over the pizza. And this time I just wanted to try something new. In general, I would add tofu, but those are tofu sausages. They have a smoky flavor. I said, why not? Let's let's give it a try. Why not? Okay. And refine it here again with lovely sweet tomatoes. Okay, Mr. Cauliflower Pizza, I love those tomatoes. They, in Germany, we call them Ochsenherz, which is ox heart. Um, not a real heart, but the tomato are called like this. They are super delicious, super juicy. And next up will be, we're just gonna add some olives to it. And because Toby loves it so much, I added feta cheese. I know feta cheese is not vegan, but I, like I said, all the doughs are vegan. The topping is just up to you, whatever you want. And because I wanted something else instead of the fathead dough, which is cheese, and at the moment I'm still on a vegan diet, so it's a good alternative. It's a great alternative. It's not good, it's a great alternative. And those pizzas are super delicious. I just baked them until the cheese has molten and now it's ready to serve my friend. So check out the taste test. Okay, let's make the crunch test or the taste test. First I'll start here with the almond. Oh, that's cheesy. The almond chicken tom tomato pizza. Dough is very soft and breaks apart. So I don't know what to do here, but let's try it. Mm. It's good, but the dough is very, you know, I love my dough um, very. Not hard, <laughs> but a little bit drier. It's very soft. Mm. But I like the cheese, you know, it's the vegan cheese. So it's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one. I hold it like this. Mm. I go here with the cauliflower flaxseed and on, I topped it with goat cheese, tomatoes and olives but it does not break apart. I must say I like the dough. 
it's super. You know, a pizza should not fall apart like the almond. Let's go to piece number three. It's the flax seed. Yeah, it's too, I think it's a little bit too dry from the consistency. Mm, it's like a cracker. But let me try to hold it. Oh yes, it doesn't fall apart on, a, on a inner core. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the topping. I'm talking about the dough, you know. A good pizza should always be harder from the consistency and um, a little bit doughy, you know, fresh. So uh, I love the cauliflower and I love the flax. See, the almond is so sweet. But I think the almond was the best dough which I just couldn't eat. It felt like minced meat, you know. So I prefer those two. The almond is not it's not bad, you know, it's not that super sweet, but I think I should add more salt or more seasoning to it. This one needs a little bit more water, just only a bit that it's a little bit more wet, but not too wet. This dough was a little bit too dry and the cauliflower is just perfect from the consistency. And I do really like it. So my friend, I hope you enjoyed this three top vegan keto pizza style recipe. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and see you next Saturday. Same time, same place. Thank you for watching.